Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another breakdown and theory video of the Accolade. Episode 6 touched on some of our previous theories, and with May and Osha's true past soon to be revealed, things are getting even more intriguing. Let's delve deeper into some key details you might have missed that may lead us to uncovering this mystery. The Mark of the Whip Remember the mysterious marking on Kaimia's back? You may have noticed a resemblance to the energy signature of a lightsaber whip. This could be a significant clue. Here's why. Vanessa Rose weapon. We know Jedi Master Vanessa Rowe wields a unique lightsaber that can transform into a whip-like blade. A connection? Could Kaimia's mark be a connection to Vanessa? Did he encounter her in the past, maybe even as an apprentice, perhaps receiving the scar from her whip? I think one of the biggest points in the Acolyte is how the Jedi are portrayed, and it shows there are gray areas in what we know of the Force and the Jedi Order. Previously discussed how Sol and Vanessa may be hiding a dark secret they don't want other Jedi or the the Republic to know because of the idea of a Jedi turning on other Jedi may be too much of a threat for political favor and overall power as it could tip the scales. The Sith and the dark side are always lurking. It could create more powerful political enemies because of the Republic's doubts of the Jedi Order being able to protect the galaxy and spread feelings of fear, anger, and loss, all threads which the dark side could manipulate. Maybe Kaimia's scars were received by his true master if he is a Sith and just an accolade of a more powerful figure, his master would likely be much crueler in their teachings and could have left such a terrible mark. Also, he claimed to once have been a Jedi long ago. Could this all have taken place during the fire at Brendok? It seems Kaimir has ties to Sol, the Coven, May, and Osha from all of his remarks, like how he knew Osha was keen to the dark side, the power of two, Sol being misleading. Could his past be tied to past events directly related to the Coven, the Jedi Order, a Sith master or Vanessa through his mark, we have a new suspect to ponder. If Vanessa fames soul like some think, it may be because she misunderstands and fears a larger threat than the events of episode 5 because of the past or is trying to cover the Jedi's influence. I think the Jedi Council will likely confront the harsh reality of Kaimia's infiltration and they will formulate a plan to combat a new Sith threat or somehow they cover the whole thing up. Soul's enigmatic words. Soul's true allegiance and past remain shrouded which we have discussed throughout the season. But his final message to Osha and May left us with a tough ending once again. Let's explore some possibilities. The ending where Osha puts on the smiley Sith mask that is reinforced with ketosis, the same substance that runs as a vein through Chimera's evil lair and has correspondence to Darth Tenebris, who is the master of Darth Plagueis, is reminiscent of Darth Vader receiving his helmet for the first time. We too have noticed our odd leans to the dark side, watch my previous videos, and all also how despite her wish of becoming a Jedi, she may just be a pawn in her own dark destiny. Will Osha succumb to grief and anger, or will she find the strength to resist? Sol's message in their true past may play a crucial role in her decision. Sol left Vanessa and the Jedi rescue team to create their own conclusions about the events on Kofar, even if he may face scrutiny or much worse. He already believes he will have to face the council for his past with the twins, which may be confirmed to be on the darker side. Character's intentions with May or Osha could come from a place of love and protection, or could be twisted into using their powerful energy as possibly a forced dyad for another agenda. Clearly, Kaimir is trying to influence Osha against the Jedi, and he seems obsessed with revenge and the power of two, which means we should see the real capability of this power and its rippling effects. Osha wasn't capable of becoming a Jedi, possibly because her thread was already being woven with the Dark Force. Her destiny may be as dark as a sensation deprivation mask she was so curious to try on. What are your theories about the scar, soul's message, and the future of the characters? If you enjoyed this video, I have a playlist on the accolade that includes more speculation. Blast your theories in the comments below and hit that subscribe button for more Star Wars content flying your way at light speed. May the force be with us all on this wild ride.